Oh yeah, I was having back spasms last night. Sean's got back issues too. Oh really? Mine comes from squatting. I had an accident squatting and... Mine was dead left in. Oh yeah. No. Over here, <laughs> over here with Daniel, how old are you? Oh, we got Daniel back here. He's 20. Shout out Daniel. 20. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what we got? We have an 07 328 Manuel, six speed. We looked at this car last week when it just came in. We've done a lot to it since then. Daniel is wrapping up a brake fluid flush, coolant flush, and an oil service. Rinsing off the underside because we did a lot of gasket work on the top end. But we're gonna take this guy for a spin. It's got just under 100,000 miles. Over here in this bay, Sean and John are doing their thing. But this is the 19,000 mile one owner 07 X5 with only 19,000 miles in an N53. This guy is going to be ready by the end of the week and should last about 24 hours. So, Dave, yes, sir. nice battle we had last week. <laughs> is it me or do we all dislike the, are they G's now? The G80 front ends? Oh, yeah. You, you dislike them too? Oh, yeah. Yeah, They're right? Terrible. I love the rest of the car. Yeah. But I, I don't. <laughs> you get inside of it and it's like, how many TV screens do I get? Oh, um, all right, question. Yeah. The new M2, would you take that thing or uh, G80? Okay, I would, take, I would take the M2. You would take the M2? I would too. I would, take the I would too. The M2. That thing is pretty good. Yeah. It's sweet, and I'm not it's mad at the look. Big screen, you know, though, now yeah. the screen, the no. interior, yeah. but the exterior, yeah. I like that yeah. more. Yeah. <laughs> Nice, me and my man Dave finally agree on something. Cool deal. Very <laughs> Brutal. Welcome back. So we got a couple new pieces in inventory. Let's take a look. This one, over here. Over here, Jay. <laughs> over here. Well, actually, no, this guy is coming soon. Amola on Amola, six speed, vert. 2010 with only 75,000 miles. Needs to find a new home. This one is new. 06, 325, 71,000 mile. With sport package, low ownership history, nine grand. Tons of work, we just got done to it. Great daily driver, great value car, under 10 grand. Over here, 2011, 76,000 mile, 35 eyes, so N55 equipped with one previous owner. Every single option except for the M sport package. Front and rear heated seats, heated steering wheel, heads up display, tech, convenience, everything. Really nice clean interior, back of camera, surround view. Brand new tires, brakes, the whole cooling system. Everything got a reflush. The owner's wife drove this car for the last couple years, and now it is available. Only has 76,000 miles, 2011 X3, N55. Yeah, you can tune it like a 335 in an X3. We had a really, really great week last week. The last couple weeks have been extremely busy. We got some uh, great examples going out that X3 M40i sold and is staying locally. The Lotus, is headed out up to Virginia. The red Z4M is gonna be headed out this week as well. The silver M3 convertible is sold. The Z4M Roadster over here, the one with 107,000 miles, Vanus worked on all that. This car is going to be going down to South Carolina. I'm gonna be meeting the new owner of that car at the border on Wednesday. And then this E92 M3, the compact that we highlighted, Jay, you did an awesome job with. Sorry, dude, it's sold. No! Sorry, bro. this one. E92 M3 compact with 120 on it, sold to a really good customer of ours, Mr. Harold Singh. Uh, he's bought multiple mint E46s from us, and this is gonna be his new daily driver. So this guy is getting a set of BE bearings, ARP bolts, and a couple other items before it leaves our store. And yeah, we've had a very busy, busy week. I'm feeling is... different about this, I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry, buddy. Oh. It's no. going into really good hands, though. It's beautiful. It's going into good hands. Oh. Okay. Bye bye. Yeah. <laughs> it's going into good hands. No. B38 Sport Short, black on black, M parallels. This is Dave's sweet E38. I think the total ticket on this guy is like well over twenty thousand dollars in reconditioning. Next up is all the cosmetics, but this guy is superb. Any E38 fans out there? Iconic. Mm. 
newly just arrived this week. We got a 2019 M Sport 740. This is a black on black M Sport 7 Series with the B58 under the hood. Should be a really fun example when it's complete. Just came in a couple days ago and we've got a bunch of basic service to do to it, but she should be ready soon. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. look at that. Oh yeah, that's nice. Woo, I think Daniel's ready for us. Oh, let's go take a spin, boys. Let's do it. There we are. Uh-oh. Gonna get run over. <laughs> Almost done. Almost ready. And then we'll go. Fun. Huh? Should be fun? Yeah, heads up. Oh. It's Monday. We got it's cars Monday. everywhere. We are busy. In and out. We are busy, 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 busy. Wow. Oh, my M wagon. Yeah. We should be ready to fire this thing over. Start it up tomorrow. Oh. Starter that we got sent was bad, so we got another starter on the way from Georgia overnight. You got some horsepower hanging out back right there. I know, man. This is the, so really cool, Stromung. Thanks, Stromung. This is a custom made exhaust to fit to a E46 M3 exhaust, but it's made for the wagon. Nice. So it's kind of like an E36 M3 that's modified for a touring. So it's specifically made for the touring. It took a few weeks. The build quality is amazing. I can't wait to hear what it sounds like. And uh, yeah, we are close. It's going across through here, folks. Oh! Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh! Oh wow. Oh. 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 All right. Oh no. Rolling back. Oh. Oh, you got it, there you go. Oh my goodness. <laughs> we gotta come up with a montage of all the stuff we've seen out here, cause it's a lot. What are we in here, Dan? All right, we're in the 2007. Dang, man, I was still in high school at that point. 2007, Me three, too, two. Yeah. <laughs> Shoo! <laughs> Happy birthday, Jay. Jay's birthday! Yes, sir. 2007, 328, rear wheel drive with a Manuel. Last week, when it came in, it was looking all sorts of tired and upset. <laughs> and we painted the front and rear bumper, clear up some of those rock chips and scratches. Taking out for the spin, we got 99,222 miles tonight. I'm gonna take this bad boy home, sign off on it. And uh, she's up on the site as of today. So great value in a six speed daily driver. What's the first car you learned how to drive? You can drive manual, right, Jay? <laughs> No? <laughs> All right, they're buying you. I know what to do. <laughs> I know what this clutch thing is. I learned how to drive manual on, well, I guess the first manual car I drove was a 911. It was a 996-911. Greg, Greg Schaefer, Greg, Gregor over at Middle Atlantic Motor Works. My college job was cleaning cars and detailing and all that, and I would leave class and run over as soon as I could go play with the BMWs and the Porsches, and he threw me the keys to a 911-996. Oh, no. Dude, I don't know why you did that. <laughs> and the lot they were on, right, was like a hill. So I had, he had me put it in reverse, and I had to learn how to juggle the pedals and balance and keep it going. You, if you ask Greg, man, that, that Porsche was like a foot from hitting the front side because I <laughs> couldn't, I stalled it so many times. Oh, boy. Thanks, Greg. That's cool. Yeah, man. Learning a Porsche. Yeah, I think it was a Honda Accord. Old, really old Honda Accord for me. So, you got me beat. Uh, Burt's. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's fun. That That is fun. You could go from riding a boring 328 to a fun 328, mm -hmm. all by just adding Manuel. First manual car you ever drove? A. 1996 Ooh. Volkswagen Jetta GLS. Oh, 19, I believe it was a 92 Chevy Silverado. It had Silverado. Silverado. Silverado? Let me tell you something about my Chevy Silverado. What kind of damn? First, first manual car you drove? Uh, 97 Mazda Miata. That is so cute. John, Yo. first manual car you ever drove? 
First manual car I ever drove. Uh, 87 Mustang GT. Nice. Thank you. Thanks again for checking out one of our videos. Here at Atlas Motor Company, our BMW inventory gets refreshed every single week. We're gonna have fresh new content for you on a weekly basis. If you like what you guys saw, please like, subscribe, hit that notification button so you get alerts, and we'll see you next time.